just stay calm. Um, cause after a minute passes, yep. you know, it, it's fairly certain that it's not going to go off. What is the recommendation for hang fire procedures? Because if you're a first timer, like imagine you had just bought a muzzle loader and you went out for your first time by yourself and that, that happened, you know, obviously a pretty, uh, nerve wracking experience. What is the recommendation that we have for, for that procedure? So, yeah, like you said, it doesn't matter if it's a, um, just your standard inline muzzle loader or the percussion or flintlock, you can always experience a hang fire. Um, I, I would say that the biggest thing is if you can confirm that the primer or the cap has went off is to just wait mm -hmm. and, and still tuck it under your shoulder. So you have a good brace. Um, cause you don't know if that, if the fire from the primer is still churning in, you know, churning in there and mm -hmm. is going to ignite or it's a slow burn. So you want to make sure that you are at least holding, you know, some say up to a minute. Uh, of just waiting tight against your shoulder, like expecting it to fire just in, the, just in case the powder does snap yeah. off and go. Um, and yeah, like you, you did a good job, Colton, because I was there when, when you experienced the hang fire. You, were, you seemed very calm and collected. Like you had it up there, you were waiting. And so that's just the big thing is just, just stay calm because um, after a minute passes, yep. you know, it, it's fairly certain that it's not going to go off. Yeah. Um, so from there, you know, we... Um, I forgot what we did with yours. Um, I think we just went to another cab, but like for an inline uh, muzzle loader, for example, like break it open, you mm -hmm. know, take the, the primer out. I know with the, like a CVA, for example, or traditions, you can easily take the breech plug out. Um, it, I guess it depends on what you want to do. Cause, cause you can shoot again. If the mm -hmm. powder didn't go off, the powder is still viable. So you might just need to put another cap or another primer in yeah. and set it off. And that should, you know, push the the powder to burn so it can just be a bad cap as well i mean For that's sure. always that's yeah. always an option yeah if you wait 60 seconds and you still don't it still hasn't gone off you're you're safe to manipulate the fire you know the the muzzle loader and yeah. whether you want to try another cap after two of the same then it might be worth and doing some further investigation yeah. perhaps there was some kind of moisture contamination one thing that happens frequently is if you're cleaning between shots like we recommend yeah we always recommend doing a wet and too dry because if you don't follow up with those dry patches, sometimes solvent will be left in there. Yeah. And that can cause moisture contamination, which will uh, occasionally cause that kind of, uh, you know, hang fire or misfire. So um, definitely recommend using those dry patches and, uh, you know, if possible, even remove the breech plug because if mm -hmm. you get, sometimes you get moisture that'll leak down through the, um, the flash hole that yep. will you know, get moisture inside the breech plug too, which can cause the same thing. So uh, there's just a few different things to keep in mind when you're, when you're cleaning to help reduce the risk of that. I, I would say one quick thing is if it's not moisture that's in your breech plug or in your barrel, um, you could get carbon buildup in the flash mm, hole itself. Yeah. And so taking a nipple pick with you is like a key tool to have because mm -hmm. carbon buildup will happen no matter what. And so, um, yeah, that, that flash hole could be completely blocked. You just you know, shove a nipple pick through there, it'll break up that carbon. And so, you know, once you do that, it could go off too. You know, just got to take those steps. Yeah. How's it going, everyone? Thank you so much for watching this excerpt from our podcast with Colton and Caleb. And if you want to check out the full episode on first time muzzle loading, then check out the Muzzle Loaders podcast, which is available on all major podcast platforms.